Yep, that's me. I bet you're wondering how I ended up here. Well, it all started with a forklift. Forklift Load is a game that caught my eye for the weirdest reasons. I saw a clip of a forklift driving cinematically through an open field while Breath of the Wild style chill piano music was playing. This slightly surreal imagery and vibe just captivated me and I had to find out more, especially when I heard the game's story described as near automata but it's a forklift simulator. Yeah, let that sink in. God, video games can be so weird in such an amazing way. I think a lot of what made this game so weird was the limitations the developers Kimidori Soft were working with. They seem to conceptualize all their games around easy to work with assets in Unreal Engine. Like, I think that's probably what inspired the whole idea where all the characters are automobiles. They're not people, so you don't have any uncanny valley to worry about, and you don't have to animate them at all to make them convincing as characters. Presumably working backwards from there, they put together this intriguing story about the AI in these automobiles that gives them personalities, and then peppered in mystery as to why humans aren't around anymore and why AI beings are all that's left on Earth. Now, not all Kimidori Soft's games are trying to tackle subjects that are this profound though. Like, sometimes you just gotta push out a game called Toilet Paper Wants to Be Basketball to pay the bills, you know? Now I said profound, but Forklift Load is still mostly silly garbage, even though it does have some legitimately cool story elements. Like you'll be talking to cars and they're like, roll me that gold boulder, I want to study it. It makes no sense and it has a lot of contrived video gaminess, but I like it. Oh, oh I, I said I like it. <laughs> I, I, I like it. Ah, yeah. Love this game. What the f- Driving a forklift? It's easy. You'll get the hang of it real quick. Oh, okay. Yeah, this game is kinda a frustration platformer. Yes, I did say platformer. Your forklift can jump and it's janky as all hell, but it makes for entertaining moments like this. Forklift load plays along the lines of something like Jump King or Getting Over It. It's not quite as difficult or punishing as those, but the awkward controls mixed with tense precision-based challenges make for some hair-pulling moments, but also some really satisfying moments of achievement when you finally get that oil barrel up that ramp. Hello darkness, my old friend. Okay, all jokes aside, the gameplay is pretty satisfying if you can get past the initial steep learning curve, and even though there's always frustrating jank, the music is always there to balance that out with these beautiful calming piano tracks. Ah, I just love those chill chords. I hate to break the illusion, but these songs are actually just free background music tracks Kimidori Soft downloaded off a Japanese stock music site, and they kinda sound like Joe Hisaishi knockoffs. Although, if it works, it works, you know? This still ends up being a really good soundtrack that fits the game well. Now, all these stock, generic, audiovisual elements somehow manage to come together and be more than the sum of their parts. Like, the stark genericness of it all somehow makes it weird and unconventional. It's a super charming approach to game making, honestly. What's a little less charming is the odd direction the initially intriguing story takes. And I can't believe I have to do this for a goddamn forklift simulator, but here's a content warning. Skip to the timecode on screen now if you'd rather not hear about this subject. So as you pick up notes about the development of AI in this world and what happened to the humans, you find out that the core philosophy that was given to the AI was to make human life efficient. So when the AI eliminated the need for work, but people still wanted to work, the AI deemed this action inefficient and restrained these people to indefinite house arrest in order to prevent them from doing anything inefficient. This is what led to the end of humanity. Everyone wanting to work and then being indefinitely imprisoned to the point where they they all took their own life. Now, I don't know if there's some mistranslation here or just strange writing, but the game ends up clumsily delivering a message that the purpose of life is to work and that people can't live without it. Like deep down, I hope this is satire or something because this is so blatantly wrong that it makes no sense. 
Considering this is the Japanese developer and work culture over there, it can be pretty overtly toxic and pressures a lot of people into self-sacrificing behavior. And how often this is critiqued in Japanese media, I think I'm gonna give Kimidori Soft some of the benefit of the doubt here that this is actually just poorly delivered satire, but oh man, this strikes as weird. Maybe the consistent use of the word work is what's throwing all this off. Like if it was more about taking away autonomy in general, that'd make a bit more sense as a theme. But for some reason, the game only refers to the ability to work being taken away as the cause of people taking their own lives. It's weird. But it gets weirder than that. Once you've found all the notes telling you this story, you then unlock a mysterious area where you meet an AI robot who looks like a human. They tell you that after all the humans were gone, all the AI lacked purpose, so this AI was created to take on the indistinguishable form of a human to give that purpose back. So, all the AI ended up directing their attention to doing every little thing for this human-looking AI in order to make their life efficient. However, since this AI was modeled to think in a way a human would, they also hated this and wanted to take their own life. They couldn't do this on their own though, because they themselves were still an AI and therefore a part of their core programming was to not take human life. So they ask you, the sentient forklift, to pick them up and drive them off the edge of a tower. Yeah, this story is just bananas. I'm not exactly sure why you as the forklift are able to harm the human-like AI when the other AI couldn't. They simply asked you to deliver the bench they were sitting on to another area, so it was like a weird loophole in the programming. Maybe it's all a Tekken reference, I don't know. Anyways, after you do this, the human-like AI gives you a closing speech about how now that they're gone and all the AI now has no more purpose, they will eventually die out and maybe after that humanity can be reborn again in like a million years or something. Credits roll and you're brought back to the title screen to see your forklift rusted and busted in a cold, depressing night. This contrasts starkly against how this title screen used to be a sunny, happy field of flowers for your forklift to bask in. This moment was legitimately pretty cool and unexpected, and it cleansed some of the sour taste left in my mouth after the muddled storytelling that came before it. It leaves you with this depressing feeling of, was it really right to bring an end to AI life just so humanity can rise again? Let my cute forklift drive through a field of flowers for God's sakes. So, even though I had a lot of criticisms of Forklift Load, it's definitely a game I won't be forgetting anytime soon. And for a $3 game, that's pretty impressive to pull off. I'd say give this one a shot for yourself because there's not really another game quite like it and it only takes a few hours to beat. Just have a stress ball at the ready or something cause yeah. Okay, that's all I've got for today. I kind of wanted to do a shorter video about a short game since my last two videos turned into massive projects because of how much I love those two games. But yeah, I hope you had fun lifting forks with me for a while and that you learned a little something about the meaning of life, which is definitely not to work. Anyways, I'm due for my shift at the docks, so I'll see you guys next time with a fresh palette of YouTube goodness. What am I doing? This joke is so stupid.